presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. It's going to be a big week in the market, man. Surrender. Let go of the past. Always do your best. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself fully to be alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 14, NASDAQ, uh, no, Dow Industrials down 14, NASDAQ up 2, SP is down 13 and a half. Gold, gold contract trading down uh, $8.10, 2041 an ounce. We have silver down 45 cents, twenty-two dollars seventy-three cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck twenty-one, seventy-seven dollars seventy cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten-year note down eight ticks, trading one hundred nine twenty. The thirty-year down thirteen at one eighteen point twenty-one. And king dollar, king dollar is trading down one hundred and twenty-three ticks at one hundred three eight thirteen. Euro one hundred eight, yen one fifty, British pound one twenty-six to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. One that's going on in your world. Now, the world of the S and P's, we have no sellers, folks. Check this out, man. <laughs> this is pretty wild. There's no doubt, man. So, you know, you, you go back to last Thursday. Market breaks top side, breaks its highs. Friday sideways move, goes to a high high, can't hold price. Now, the spy's down a buck. Big deal, right? But your contrast is that you only have 31 million shares. So there's no sellers here, man. And the, you're going against the Thursday bar, which is uh, 76 million versus 31 million. And you saw exactly what happened when we were going against the Wednesday bar when I was on, because the volume was also tepid there. And then, boom, hits it, explodes topside. Now, here's the divergence. The divergence does come in the queues. Because what ends up happening in the queues, you don't know when you're looking at this, well, was it try to go to a high or try to go to a low because it's a sideways day. 26 million shares traded. You're still going into 62 million, 61, 50, oh, sorry, 52 million versus 26, you know. So my take is that higher, we're still going, you know. We'll see how this shakes out because there's no doubt that the way this has set up um, we're stretching it, man. We're stretching it. There's no doubt about it. You know, you take a look at this. The first warning was generated at that uh, in January, the middle of January, coming down on volume. We go up again. The second one was February. And th these do come in threes, folks, okay? And so, you know, it looks to me like first it's going to go higher, then we're going to go lower. Probably be one more push higher, and then we're going to have a decent correction. We go take a look. I'm going to go to the dollar next because the dollar, it is, it's what it's all about. But dollar notes and bonds, that's what it is. We'll pull the notes and bonds up too. So the dollar has been trying to get into this lower range. And every time it comes down to it, it rejects it. Last Thursday, it came down hard. But guess what? Just as hard, it rejected 103. No, 103. 102.684. So 
In order for that market to go higher, we came right down to, you know, where it would get inside the lower range and rejected it once again. Now, notes and bonds. This is really intriguing, man. And... Okay, so... The note and bond market out here... You know, we did... This is amazing, actually. I see, though, actually. We got a higher high. I'll deal with that. Okay, okay. So, we had 4.9 million contracts so far, which is, like, I don't think I've ever seen, folks. I'm sure it's been out there, but I just forget seeing 4 million contracts. So, you got to a higher high. You're backing in. So, the, the market is still choppy here, for sure. My, my take is that... Let me go look at the 30 here first, and then the TLT. Because my take is that this correction in the note and bond market is over. So let's say USA, but let me go through the 30 also. So we take a look at the 30. 30 is 941,000. That's a big number also. Okay, that's a big number too. And then let's go to the TLT. Take a look at the TLT. <laughs> look at that. So that's backing down with light volume. So, you know, when I when I look at this, the, the note and bonds, they all look to me like they want higher price, including the TLT. Let's go back to the ten year again. This is a lot of buying, man. Now, see, this is where price and volume get, uh, how would you say it? It's, this is, it's more art than a science, okay? And what it is here is this. When you go this, when you get this many contracts, right, and it went higher, and then all of a sudden it doesn't break the low, that is actually a bullish occurrence. Because what's happening is that we always know for every seller is a buyer, buyer there's a seller, okay? So the bottom line is that they were buying this thing out here today. And some were selling it like crazy too, though. <laughs> that's, that's the reality. Um, hey, we'll see where it shakes out, you know? And I believe, let's see, as to the CPI... The CPI is the Wednesday. That's at 8.30 in the morning. So Wednesday is going to be the number um, that you're going to... We're going to have some movement for sure. Because the Fed's waiting for the CPI. The market's waiting for the CPI. Yeah, we get everything. You get, so you get the wholesale inventories, retail inventories. This is on... This is on uh, Wednesday at 8.30. Then Thursday we get... Yeah, Thursday's a big one. Because Thursday's the PCE core deflator. And that, that's the one that the Fed absolutely loves. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 17. Nasdaq's up 6. S&Ps are off 12. Let's get over to my man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12, Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side under Featured Content. You get Master in Probability for one month for $149, six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%, and one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Steve has a huge amount of information, all these different tools that he uses each and every day, and you have access to each one of them. So check it out, get over there, subscribe, and you're going to be very happy. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, you know, when I moved down here 40 years ago, this was the kind of weekend weather that we just had that, that, that I moved down for. I don't know what it was like in Tampa, but, boy, down and, here in South Florida, extraordinary. So what you're hearing from Steve and I, folks, okay, because I'm going to double it right now at the same deal. <laughs> This is the this has been the weirdest winter we've had. I, now I've only been here totally. 20, 25 years, okay, but yeah. we had like six weeks of winter, and since we're babies, okay, we can't take <laughs> yeah. that anymore. Now Steve's I from am. Detroit, and I'm from Boston, so we can take plenty of cold weather when we were kids, okay. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> but we got it made now. I know, man. It we broke. Do. Thank God. We do. Oh man. my goodness. Yeah. Seriously. Absolutely. So so it's been great. So I want people to know. And I know we've said this before. You and I don't talk about what I'm going to share during this segment with you before before we show. So it kind of bleeds right into your opening, which for me is really kind of cool when when all that uh, when all that bleeds together. So um, and what we're going to do today, the review of the charts that we're going to take a look at. OK, here's what they suggest. So I'll just uh, to tell people up front. Here's what they suggest. Then we'll go through the charts and then just yeah. we'll summarize it again. But longer term, when I talk about longer term, Tom, I'm thinking more monthly type time frames. Yes. So longer term, uh, the da, the Dow, the Dow Diamonds, the SPY and the Qs. Those are the only three that I looked at, by the way. Yeah, uh, they all suggest they're all very bullish and suggest higher price intermediate term, though. And for intermediate term, I like to use the weekly time frame. We've got some TD nine count tops 
stocks that are likely to form by Friday. It just depends on where price closes, but likely to form by Friday. And those are patterns that will complete next week. So those are suggesting intermediate term wise, uh, intermediate term to short that we might see a pullback. And I've got some downside targets that we can take a look at from a timing standpoint. When I mean time, I really mean like days, weeks or what have you. We'd be looking for a retracement to pull back to last two to four weeks. So let's get into it. What are those charts that we're taking a look at showing how things are bullish? Well, the first thing, one of the tools that you and I talk about all the time are the A to B equals CD patterns. So this is a bigger picture, Dow Diamond, A to B equals CD pattern. It takes us all the way back into the 2009 time frame. And the next and the logical B point when we take a look at this chart here would be that the 2020 uh, COVID high as well as the 2020 COVID low. Now that sets up just simply a one-to-one -one price target inside of the Dow Diamonds at the 413 level. This is a monthly chart for the SPY. It's already achieved its one-to-one -one price objective. Again, going back to the 2009 timeframe, coming forward to the uh, tw uh, COVID-20 uh, top and, and bottom out there. And so we're already above the one-to-one -one level. So that suggests that we should then go target the 564. Now, I, I would want people to hold me to the, right to the penny or dollar or what have you. Sure. So we're using that as basically a range. But once you pass one level, odds favor you move to the second level. Now, the one thing to notice on both this SPY chart and this diamond chart is the price movement along this C to D leg is way to the left side of that angle. So the, one of the important things about the A to B equals CD pattern is maintain the same angle on A to B as you would from C to D. It provides us with a ton of information. And when you start trading along the left side, just like we take a look at here in the spies, you typically do more than a one to one A to B equals CD anyways. We take a look at the Qs. So when you got to the Qs, you're kind of like, mm, what, what, what are the charts showing us? Yes. So on the Qs, right? If we go back now, in its case, its actual bottom was in 2008, not 2009. And if we look at its A to B equals CD pattern, we've already attained the 1 to 1.272 level. So the next area would be the 1.618 up at 508. However, when I take a look at this retracement, this retracement has a it's only a 34 percent retracement. I like to see at least a 0.382. So this begs the question, should we just simply redraw the A to B equals CD pattern? Well, if I do that and I use for my swing point, the November 2021 high, which, by the way, last week was passed with volume. So we've got a confirmed monthly A to B equals CD and how we've got a 40 percent retracement. So I got my 0.382 in there and that gives us a price projection of 637. Now, shut up. I love it. Gotta love it, right? But look, this stuff is confirmed by volume. We either believe it or we don't. I know, man. Right? right? So when you step back, uh, look, Tom, I didn't realize that until I started looking at it this, this, this morning. I'm like, what? Whoa. I know. Confirmed? Wow. I didn't see that. Okay. I see so it. Short, I, I got right? it up. Yeah. yeah. That's, I take yeah. the other chart and put it up. Yeah. That's crazy, yeah. man. Yeah. Wow. So shorter term, the daily cues are going to likely confirm a wave seven top. It's a very small portion of Basil Chapman's tool. People should get those. And, and, and so in this case here, this is we're getting a short term daily top inside the cues. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, it has a T it has a TD nine count top that is likely to form. I say likely to form because price has to close above bar number five. So intermediate and short term are suggesting that we need to be cautious right now. Intermediate term for the Qs, uh, as I mentioned, are going to likely confirm a TD9 count top this week. Um, and if that unfolds, we should see price pull back into that oscillator and change line. Now, there's a new profile that actually formed below price, and that's a bullish message. But nonetheless, we still can get a retracement. And the first target, there'd be really three targets to the downside that I'd be looking at on the weekly time frame. That's 431, 422, and 417. This is a set of charts, Tom. It shows us consecutive moves higher. Those would be uh, the, uh, the black digits or numbers and lower uh, consecutive closes are in red numbers okay if we just focus in on the monthly time frame out here you'll see that we've had some four and five typically the way that price moves consecutively is between two and four bars you know, if you get to five bars and more that typically tells you about a very strong upward momentum move or downward momentum move out here so when we take a look at the cues and how they have we take a look at the signals this is going to be month number four so we're going to have four months to the upside. Now, what's really kind of cool about this, if we take a look at them, the, if we go back to 2018, the, num the largest number of consecutive moves higher that we've had is five. And you can see it out here a few times. So if we don't get this short term top that I just spoke about out here, this tells me that the uh, queues are not going to at least form some type of short term top until we get to March. And those tops typically lead to, as you see, retracements here anywhere from two to three to four bars to the uh, downside. 
Uh, so let me do this here. Let me uh, just kind of fast forward. I want to just make sure that people understand what we're, what we're taking a look at here. And that is that this is a very strong bullish market longer term. And, and of course, you know, we're at new, uh, new all-time highs. Uh, people are trying to identify where is the uh, top out there. Um, I'm producing a, a special report. Maybe we'll do a little workshop on it cool. that shows you going back to 1929, take a look at most of the major indices, including things like the Nikkei and gold. When they topped, what patterns were present? And what we'll find out, Tom, is those are the same patterns that I teach, that I use inside the newsletter each day to uh, call the markets out there. So it's very cool. So people should, uh, now's a great time to subscribe to Mastering Probability. Learn these tools, as you said, they're all available. I teach people how to do this. And uh, so I'm expecting longer term, we're headed much higher. But in the short and intermediate term, we may get a pit stop between this week and next week. And folks, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. You saw the amount of information he gave. It's amazing, okay? Come over to our website at TFNN. It's right under Featured Contact. Hit that button and you're off to the races. Steve, great rundown, man. I'm telling you. Get those Take horns out, man. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, a great Thanks. one, man. You Thanks. might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down at 13. NASDAQ's up 6. S&Ps are off 12. And, folks, uh, you know, you just heard Steve, okay? Get over to our website at TFNN. On the right-hand side, under Featured Content, you're going to see Master and Probability. 
Uh, the amount of information Steve has on there is phenomenal, including, I mean, this is each and every day. You want to understand the TD9 counts, you want to understand that, uh, well, he has, he has a lot of tools on there, and he explains each one of them, and they're in that, that uh, newsletter uh, each and every day. Uh, what's really intriguing here is that, you know, we've been in some bulls, but there's no doubt, man, when you take a look at, you know, even today, this spy, it's like, hey, man, <laughs> and, you know, is this all about, you know, the aspect of, I mean, I, I was around, you know, when the run started in 94 and went up to 2000. And, yeah, well, let me show you that run, because what you had, you, you had two pullbacks, and that's just about all you had. Yeah, let me go back here, because you got to see this if you weren't around at that particular time because like this was like insanity okay so right there it is okay so yeah this is beautiful this is good okay so i'm going to open it up this way no open it up this way oh way up here yeah that's how i'll open it up okay so here it is so look at this <laughs> oh my god look at this okay so I have the SPY up, okay? I'm going to 94. So I'll start the run. What's that? Yeah, it's still 94. So the SPY was at 44, folks, okay? And we went straight. Watch this. This is like, I, I mean, you can buy anything the, the, it, when this happened, okay? Maybe it was going to be the same way. Okay, 94. What number was that? 44, straight up to 68. Okay, that was, and that went until 96, and then we had a pullback to 48. Now watch this. Next run goes 48. Now I'm talking the SPY. Goes straight, it doubles to 84. And that brings us up, now we're at uh, 97. We come back down to... 72, 94 to 72. <clears throat> okay, another run, 72 to 95. And then we come down hard. This was a big one, man. We come down to, no, 84. That wasn't bad. And here's, here's, the, here's the hard one. Then we go 84 to 128. 138 actually, 84 to 138. Now here it is. Now this this was the shakeout of 98. This was the uh, Asian contagion. Okay, so we go from 138 down to 91. Okay, that shakeout was over in October of 98, and then we go 98 straight. Well. 98 to 140, you had another little dip to 133, and then you topped out at 155. And then you talk about, now this is what gets really cool here. If you understand price and volume, you're going to see that what ended up happening is that we come to, went sideways, we went up and tried to get the high, and then it was curtains, man. You go from 155 down to 79. We could be in a run like that, man. And that run was pretty extraordinary. From, from 94 to 2000, you almost couldn't lose money. Well, put it this way, you could lose money. Uh, but what was happening with most of the folks that I knew, you were buying every dip. And if you get caught in it, you know, like a bull market makes all of us geniuses, folks, okay? So what ends up happening, all you had to do is hold whatever you had for like, you know, another two weeks and it would be up again. I mean, people, people, you would be waking up in the morning. What we don't have is this yet, okay? That run there, even by, um, yeah, even by 1996, you would wake up in the morning and stocks, Lots of stocks, not just, you know, we, we've had the gap ups, we, you know, we've had, had some great gap ups. But from 96 on, you know, to 98 on, 
you don't, you'd have like, oh my God, 20, 30, 40 stocks gapping up, like, you know, 20% like nothing, like nothing. People would just buy at the end of the day, sell the next morning, wait for the end of the day again, buy again, sell again. It, was, it looked real easy, and it was real easy until it wasn't. And then unfortunately what ended up happening is that not only folks never sold because you know you, when you buy the dip so many times you know and you've made money for f almost six years you know that's that's how it goes right that's the first part the second part which is really intriguing because this is happening a lot more right now is this is that there's a huge amount of money um in particular there's a huge amount of money right now also in some etf structures because of their, of how they're structured, of selling calls. So what happens also is that from 94 going all up to 2000, anyone selling calls just kept banking money, like in an amazing way. And then what happened? Boom, that blows up. Two different things end up happening. You lose your principal. It, it, it was a mess. It was, it was a total mess that folks were onto that because you can imagine how many times you start parlaying up when you've had a run that has been six years long. And then the last part of that, which, you know, not, not someone was involved in it, God bless you, okay? Um, but what did happen is this, this, this is what folks that did either have companies or they got into the IPO early. But most of, the, most of the, this is what ended up happening. Folks that worked for companies that did really well, they exercised their options on the stock that they had. So what ends up happening is this. Now watch how this works. This is what's really, you got to make sure that you, you know how this works technically. And this is where you call an accountant to make sure you understand how this works on your taxes. Well, what happened is that there are so many people that exercise their options at a certain price. Well, that's, when you exercise your option at a price, folks, okay, the bottom line is, let's say the exercise price was two, it was, um, $2. The stock's trading at 40, okay? As soon as you exercise that price, you have $38 in profit, okay? So what ended up happening is that they had a tax bill, but yet by the time that they're paying their tax bill, the stock would go from 40 down to 20. So they lost in a monster way. There was a, there was a huge, um, people really weren't educated. That, that's the real bottom line. That's the, you know, how this shakes out, man. And there was a lot of damage done. Dow, Dow's off 35, NASDAQ's down one, S&P's are off 15. Stay right there, folks, come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 42, Nasdaq's up uh, 10, S&P's down 17. Let's get over to that gold contract, okay? Gold's been having a hard time. It's trying to get off, well, it's off the lows, that's for sure, but just slightly. So if we take a look at this, what we had on Friday, we had a nice day. You had price come in, you had volume come in. That's telling me that we're going to continue higher here. And I suspect that's going to start happening on Wednesday because, you know, you get the CPI on Wednesday, then we get the um, deflator on Thursday. So that's, you know, looking to me like we're going to try to make it again, okay? Each time that we've got up to these higher levels, it's failed, meaning as soon as you, you know, we're 2,043 right now. As soon as it seems to get to the 2,100, bang, failure, like in about two seconds flat. Um, you know, so now we've go to, over the silver, okay? It's just a little bit different. And so we take a look at the silver contract. So what you have with silver, silver had a great day about a week ago, okay? Breaks topside, has volume behind the move, and we're pulling back in again. Now, this gets interesting today because you can see this big volume, and you're going against, well, we're, going, we're changing contracts also. That's exactly what, so we're rolling contracts today. So let's see, SLV. So the way to do that is then go to the SLV because the SLV will give you a better understanding of that. So the SLV is cool, see? Now you're down 34 cents, but you can see you're going into 22 million. We went top side with 34, and you're coming in with 13. Let's keep talking about silver. We'll go to Ray in Sarasota. Ray, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. I got a question for you on a silver stock on Hecla. I'm uh, curious as to your opinion has, uh, do you think it's bottomed at this point? And I know they had a mine that uh, closed down. Has that mine reopened from the yeah. fire? Now, I'm so glad you're calling about this because, so check this out, folks. I did the gold report this morning, and, you know, we've been close to a bottom. So what ends up happening when I'm doing the gold report, Ray, right? It's a couple of yeah. the silver stocks that look to me that they have bottomed, right? Then I'm saying, oh, man, you know, I know we got Wednesday, we get the CPI. And one of them was Heckler, by the way, okay? I just want to go through this with you because I decided not to buy this morning just because if we go, if we look at this, well, here, first, let me answer that question. I believe that the, their big mine is open again. Um, what, ha what had happened, okay, 18 million ounces, let's say. Yeah, you, what, ha what happened here is that downgrade. 
Yeah. You had a bunch of broker dealers between the 16th and the 23rd, which has been happening in the gold and silver market in general. They've been downgrading these equities. Now, what ends up happening, they're downgrading them, but like, look at this one. This is a downgrade from 825 from, to 875. And folks, we're trading at 350. That's why some of these are like a joke when you run, run through them. But it's not a joke because when the broker dealer community does that many downgrades, people sell. So when we look at this, Ray, now do you own this right here? A little higher or something? Yeah. Yep. I'd, higher. I'd stay here. I'd stay here. And the reason has to do with three weeks ago, actually. Do you know what I mean? I like how this, you know, basically got into the low and then had, a, you know, some strength. Because this company's always made money. This is not, you know, when, when these stocks get smoked like they have, you can see, I mean, they took in $160 million. That was down $20 million from the last quarter. But their next quarter is saying $189 million. Then they're going to go to $200 million. You know? So... That's big dollars, man. And, you know, there's Lucky Friday. Okay, so Lucky Friday, you know, Lucky Friday's open, man. And Lucky Friday's growing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I like, I like Heckler because it's, uh, the mines are in the U.S. It's yeah. Not in Mexico. No, no, I'm South with America. you. I'm with you. And, you know, that's one of the longest stocks on the New York Stock Exchange, which is totally mind blowing. Let me, let me just see this for a second. I want to see if I can get that state. The info. No. That's too bad. I don't have it. But I remember interviewing the CEO of this a lot. I think he was always talking about that. Yeah, and, you know, I think we're real close, man. <laughs> you know, and, but that, I've thought that the last three weeks, too, Ray. So <laughs> take it, you know, with a grain of salt, man. Um, but I, I like the market right now. I like the market because what I also like, you know, what happens, folks, is this. When you're doing gold or silver, you have to absolutely know what the bond market is doing and what the dollar is doing. And my take again, you know, you heard me a little bit earlier, that I think that the note and bond market has bottomed again. And as Tommy said this morning, now this is where this gets really interesting, is that if it hasn't bottomed, guess what? It's going to be bottomed in the next few months <laughs> because the shift is here. We're going down on interest rates. So when I look at the note and bond market, I like how it looks. The dollar, okay. we'll see whether it croaks. You know, the, the dollar's been tough, man. You know, and we need, we need the dollar to break under that lower range. And I suspect once it does break, that you're going to see a huge amount of selling because, you know, you and I and the Tigers and Tigers are not the only ones looking at this dollar, man. <laughs> you know, right. and that's where what also ends up happening is that if that's what happens, folks, it's like with Steve Rhodes, you know, talking about a long-term up market. Um, Tim Wood, long-term up market. There's no selling in the S&Ps. You have both of those go the right way. We're going to have lower interest rates. The dollar is going to be worth less. So if you just do the fundamental math on the dollar being less, for us in the United States, yes, we have a higher number. Let's say the S&P would be a higher number. But the dollar would be lower, so if you cash that in, and I don't want to get too, well, if you cash it in, I'm just going to keep going. If you cash it in and you go to Europe, you're going to be able to buy less, even though we have a higher number in the U.S. So I think you're in good shape here, man. Because if it goes, then, and, and, and this is like I'm, gonna, I'm doing an update Wednesday in the gold report, and normally I don't do updates during the week, but the reason I'm doing the update, because of Hecla and a couple other equities that I think are really ready to go. And what it is, if they go, you got a huge, you know, potential of a huge profit, man. Do you know what I mean? Because right. we, we know when these go. What happens when these go, folks, is this. You can go from, like a Hecla can go from, you know, 350 to 550 in, you know, five, five weeks. <laughs> you know, so. Hey. We'll see where it shakes out, though. I appreciate the call, Ray. All right. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Dow right now. Dow's down 18. NASDAQ's off 14. S&P's are off, uh, no. NASDAQ's down 3. S&P's are off 14. There's no sellers, man. All the sellers are gone.
But we know how that works too, right? Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Dow, Dow's up for 44, Nasdaq's down 7, S&P's down 17. And folks, if you do get the gold report, I apologize. I don't know how I did this. I had the gold report done like at 7.30 this morning, and I forgot to send it to Tommy and Jacob, and somehow it's going to be, as soon as I get off the air, you're going to get it. There's no new buys, but the bottom line, you'll get it, and I do apologize. Um, but that's crazy, man. Anyway, it is what it is, I guess. So volume out here, MVOL. Let's go take a look at it. So, yeah, look at this. So right now you're at 5.12 on the NYSE. That's saying we probably won't break 900. MVOLQE is the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is at 4.8. That means we'll do 5 point something. So let me just see this composite for a second. So the composite. Yeah, you get a sideways day out here. If we take a look at the Qs. Q's are up 32, 
30 million shares. That's an inside day, though. And then the SPY. The SPY is the only one that's given us say that, hey, man, the sell is still on here. You get 40 million going against 62. That's a market uh, against 76, rather. That's a market that wants a higher price. That's what it comes down to, you know. And I suspect what we're going to see, keep your eyes on the note and bonds. For, note, notes, bonds, and the dollar, folks, okay? Because that's what it's all about. Like the 10-year right now, yeah, this is pretty good. We were down at 109.16 with five, seven ticks above that. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. You know, at the lower end. And look, look at this, man. So, there, there, oh, there's a fight going on in the 10-year right now, folks. It's amazing. So check this out. There's 5 million contracts. So there's as many people that are bullish as bearish. <laughs> oh, man, you're going to love markets. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Get you going the right way in the a.m. We'll get him, folks.